basically it's a four-door exorcist. That's what it is. Hey guys, John Hennessy, and today I'm going to do a little test drive in our new 1,000 horsepower iteration of the 2023 Cadillac CT5V. Great car from the factory. This is a manual, so you got a four-door sedan manual with supercharged V8 from the factory. We've taken, obviously, the 650 horsepower uh, supercharged V8 and bump it up to 1,000 horsepower. How do we do that? Well. Thankfully, we've had a lot of experience building the Exorcist. So you guys have probably heard of our modified version of the Chevy ZL1 Camaro. That was inspired from when Dodge came out with the Demon. Back in 2018, we wanted to come out with some sort of a competitor to the Demon. So that was the Exorcist. The Exorcist basically, again, supercharged V8 from GM, where we upgrade the supercharger system, intake, headers, ported polished cylinder heads, camshaft upgrade, exhaust, fuel injectors, and tuning. We've basically done the same thing with the CT5V. I've been busy traveling a lot here the last several months, so this is my first impression. I haven't had a chance to drive our 1000 CTSV. I think this particular car on the chassis dyno made like 830 horsepower at the rear wheels, about a 250 horsepower gain over stock. 830 at the wheels is about 1000 horsepower at the crankshaft, so I'm gonna jump in it, go out and drive it around our little test track here our Pinzel Proving Ground out west of Houston. Let's see how it does. These are really nice cars from just from the factory. And it's really neat that I mean, the idea that you can buy a 650 horsepower sedan with a manual in 2023 is pretty incredible. Nice grip, nice steering. I'm just gonna let it warm up here. Shifter is really nice from the factory. Good job, GM guys. All right, so we're getting her warmed up. So, what can I tell you about our background with Cadillacs, modifying Cadillacs? And I bought my first CTSV, a Gen 2, back in 2008 or 2009. I do remember it was back kind of when the whole financial crisis happened. Um, started modifying those. <laughs> kind of culminated with, we built a we built a, a version of the Cadillac CTSV Coupe that we call the VR1200 back in like 10 years ago, 2012, 2013. And we took one of them, we had a chance to take a couple cars to a new toll road up near Austin called State Highway 130. And we put a pro driver in both cars and I think the, the, the VR1200 ran 221 miles an hour and it was still going strong so anyway i'll shut up and drive and let you guys hear the car yes ma'am good grip in the front supportive seat i like it Shift, baby. Come on. Yeah, 144. Around the back of the track here is not too bad. I like it. So a couple, well, not a couple years ago. Yeah, I guess a couple years ago. I decided to buy a Tesla Plaid, which has been kind of my daily driver for the last year and a half. Um, it's fast. It makes plenty of power. Uh, it's convenient to drive, but it's really like driving a, a big washing machine. I mean, it's, it's like an appliance. It doesn't have a soul like this car has. I think the, the uh, Plaid needs to go bye-bye and I need to get one of these. Yeah, 
tire spin in second gear is always a good thing. All right, we'll do some more no lift shifts here. Down the drag strip on your marks. Get set. Limiter early. No lift, baby. Love it. 145. It's still hot here in Texas. It's still like 98 degrees outside, so we're not losing any power from the heat. I'm going to go to the back of the track and we'll do a launch. What a great car. What a fun car. This is basically, it's a four-door exorcist. That's what it is. And I love the shifter. It's really slick. It's engaging. It works great with the additional horsepower. I love it. here. Awesome. Wow. This car really hooks up. Very impressive for rear wheel drive, front engine. Wow, so much fun. This thing gets a 10 out of 10 for fun factor. I love the no lift shift, especially with a thousand horsepower. So much fun. So torquey, such great mid-range torque. Man, our team did a great job building this car. Super proud of them. No lift shifts, awesome. Such a cool feature. I just kept my foot on the gas and just pushed the clutch in and shifted gears and never lifted off the gas pedal. Wonderful. Give her a cool down lap, but anyway, these cars are in production. To have a car like this for 160, 170 grand that runs probably low tens, high nines at 100 and 38 to 140 miles an hour on the quarter mile is pretty impressive. So, great job to the Hennessy team, great job to the Cadillac team. Thanks for tuning in.